Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with a brand new episode of The Spotlight, the show where I pose an interesting question or just a general interesting idea and have you guys take it from there in the comments. So let's talk about something that comes up a lot these days, the idea of spoilers. Due to the advent of the internet and the wide free sharing of information, the ability to spoil upcoming projects or things that people just haven't seen yet is a lot easier than it used to be back in the 90s and even the early 2000s. And this, like so many things, has led to a lot of tension throughout the internet about people feeling that they're being spoiled on these projects, whether they be books, movies, or TV shows. Feeling that people are actively hurting their own personal viewing experience of this particular project. But are they really? Well, there's actually a few ways to look at this, but let's focus on personal viewing experience versus the project as a whole. And if knowing what happens in something actually makes it worse experience viewing it than if you hadn't known going in. And it is true that if you've been spoiled on, say, a twist or something that you weren't supposed to know going into the episode or the movie, then it will hinder your viewing experience. But only your first viewing experience. Because any other time you view this particular project, you're already going to know all that information already from your own personal experience. So basically, every other viewing experience that you have after your first one is both going to be different, and will contain any information that you had been spoiled about prior to what would have been your first viewing of it. But people do like the feelings that they get from their primary viewing experience. They like being able to go into something fresh, and they like being able to have that full experience, and that's perfectly fair. But the downside to this is that you can essentially get the excitement or joy equivalent of a jump scare from this particular viewing experience. Where writers will put in a specific scene or reference or joke that they know will get a big response from the audience in that particular moment if they don't see it coming. But likely wouldn't have with future viewings of it. This won't always be the case, but I'm sure that we've all had an experience where there was a movie that we liked the first time we saw it, but then when we saw it sometime later down the line, we didn't like it as much. That's pretty much the reason why. But on that note, does knowing what happens in a story actually make the story weaker? Because if something is written well, then it should still have some kind of impact whether you know it's coming or not. And if something isn't good, then regardless of if you know what happens in it or not, it's probably still not going to be any better. A story should be strong enough to engage its audience whether they know what's going to happen into it or not. It should be good enough to be able to be viewed multiple times and still get a somewhat similar response each time. So if someone spoils something for you, are they actually ruining the movie or the TV show for you? Honestly, I don't think so. I think that they are ruining your primary viewing experience, but I don't feel that that should be what you're basing all of your enjoyment off of something from. If something is good, then it will remain being good, whether you know what's going to happen in it or not. Pretty much every story that's ever been told has been told before, so basically everything comes down to execution. So really, there shouldn't be that much of a hindrance knowing what's going into something, as opposed to how it's actually told. But, like I said before, there will always be people who really enjoy their primary viewing experience. They love the feelings that they get going into something fresh. And that's also a perfectly reasonable approach. But is it reasonable to say that you have ruined something for someone just by value of knowing something that happens in it? Well, let us know in the comments. And until next time, this has been Tim from The Spotlight, signing out.